Hey, uh, you need to get rid of about 5,000 bucks. We got some ideas for you. Fishback Show. Y yes, Nathan, I've just got so much money. I'd love to blow on a bunch of useless stuff. Well, you've come to the right place. <laughs> we have some wonderful <laughs> gift ideas for you if money is no object. I don't think that's our viewer base. I'm and, just guessing. I think if sanity is not an object as well. No. So, <laughs> you have pulled up the uh, very nice Tiffany & Company. Are we allowed to say that? I guess so. Oh, so they're not a sponsor. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but who is a sponsor? Uh... Axe, Axe people? Axe people! Axe, Axe people. <laughs> Highlands Axe Company. You want to throw axes? Talk to them. And they won't charge you $5,000 to throw axes. Much more reasonable. They'll take $5,000, but it's it's much cheaper than that. So, go see them. Go see them. All right. So, you, uh, you, you narrowed this down to just five, five crazy of expensive things. Yeah, there's, there's more on here. There's... There's ridiculousness abounding. <laughs> but these are actual, like, you know, Tiffany, if you think of, like, jewelry, you know, obviously it's going to be expensive, but at least it's functional. It's these are practical. Practical. These are useless, Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> these are absolutely useless. So, item number one. Yeah, here we go. 18 karat gold paperclip bookmark. It is a paperclip. <laughs> it's a paperclip. It's not... Big. It's two and yeah. a half inches. Two so and a half inches long. Same size as normal paper clip. So you could clip paper with it, but it's supposed to be used as a bookmark. And, and if you'll notice the price there, a cool fifteen hundred clams. Yes, but it is eighteen karat gold. So yeah, that's that's insanity. Yeah. What in the world would you pause a bookmark? I have actual bookmarks. 90% of the time, what I use is a post-it note. <laughs> um, because I lose bookmarks. And my you, don't kids, just, you don't just earmark pull the, them out the page? No, I can't do that. Uh, that's what I used to do with my library books. Sorry, library. <laughs> uh, Tiffany Artisans transform utilitarian items into handcrafted works of art. See, it's art. So they can charge whatever they want for it. They say it's oversized, but I don't... Well, yeah. It's kind of bigger. Two and a half inches. I've seen big paper clips. They didn't cost fifteen hundred bucks. Reimagined in eighteen carats gold. <laughs> it's a whimsical bookmark. It's whimsical. It's whimsical. It's insanity. Okay, <laughs> <I'm> on that. <laughs> Item number two. Oh, it's a. Uh, what is that? It's a mesh scarf necklace. Ah, uh, it's it's uh yeah. Is um, that even? I mean, is that even pretty or or not? It's it's form is malleable and. Ergonomic. Ergonomic. Malleable and ergonomic. So it's metal? It drapes over metal. the body's contours. So it's like steel wool, like a steel wool I, necklace. It's like armor, you know, like that. Oh, chain mail. Yeah, chain, chain mail. mail. Totally, for your neck. Well, this is worth it. I mean, you got to guard your neck. That's yeah. what people chop your head off at. Yeah. Yuppie armor. <laughs> it is also 18 karat gold. Yes, so not much armor because gold is bendy. 42 inches long. So Gold is malleable. Right? It is malleable. It's so, also expensive. $26,000. <laughs> I said 5000 before. This is a little over your budget, I guess. <laughs> Just a little bit. But, yeah. I can't even... You wouldn't even know it. Like, that does not even look... It looks like it should be, like, 5 bucks at the flea market. <laughs> it looks like... Like it's made out of like uh, canvas or like what is the like feedback material? It does. It re it doesn't even look nice. Farmer chic. You could buy a brand new car, or you could have a useless scarf. Your choice. The choice is yours. Yes, that's we've given people options here on the Fishwax Show, which you can spend your You're welcome to Tiffany's and company for these reviews as well. Mm -hmm. we, if you want to send us some money for reviewing these, we'll do it. We Just do. don't send us one of these items because we don't want useless. useless. Speaking of useless. Oh, oh wait. A folding chair. That's that's useful. But you wait. can use that, right? Yeah. A sterling silver chair? I mean, sure, why not? At least it's a chair. At least yeah. I can sit in it, right? Yeah, you can sit in it. If you're this tall. It is four. Is that right? Four inches high. Four inches tall. Yeah. 
It's a wee little chair. $975. It does fold, though. It really folds Oh, it, it's a foldable chair. It, it has all the function of a working chair, except you can't use it as a chair. So you can literally buy a hundred actual working folding chairs <laughs> or one useless four-inch chair. Your choice. Well, if you have a really important action figure that you need to sit at a table, I yeah. guess you'd have to buy a small table, too, though. So that could run into some more money. Did you? Uh, yeah. So it's also right, it's a folding chair. Maybe like if you have like wrestler guys, <laughs> they like, could hit each other with the fold for Ted DiBiase, <laughs> like the Million Dollar Man. <laughs> he would have a sterling silver. Absolutely. Now we've figured out its function. Yeah, that should be in the notes down there for Ted DiBiase action. But figure. it's not a steel chair, so it's not going to hurt anybody when he hits him with it. Yeah, yeah. My God, he's got a family. <laughs> Oh, I don't even know. Oh, we're... Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Now, this... Okay. You could actually use this one. This is functional. Yeah. It's still ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> this is a sterling silver tape measure. Yeah. So if you're a fancy carpenter... $1,275. I mean... Um, you can go to Lowe's or Walmart and get one for about $1,270 less than that. Yes. And this one only measures 15 feet, so it's not even like a super long one either. Anybody who would have this tape measure has no business using a tape measure. If they have no use of a tape measure. It is tiny. It's 2.6 by 2.7 inches. I mean, it is teeny tiny. Yeah. It's I like mean, a project. It's like, like oh, here's... Here's what I'm going to measure out that I'm going to hire somebody to do. <laughs> <laughs> is this doorway big enough to fit my piano through or something? I don't know. <laughs> or what you do is you say, oh, the sterling silver chair is four inches? That's how many, that's how tall it is. That's it. How how big is my Ted DiBiase action figure? Yeah, does it fit match the up? Chair? My solid gold million dollar man action it's figure. Million dollar man, million dollar action figure. He should figure. be a million dollars. WWE. There you go, Tiffany and Company. Put that up there. Yeah, I don't, should we search for that? Where's the wrestling yeah. action figures? All right, enough of that. All right, so we got one more. <laughs> this is the coup de gras, the creme de la creme, the top of the line. This looks like something I just took to the recycling bin the other day. <laughs> I just tossed this in a giant thing, but no, I could have recycled it because it's sterling silver. Yeah, look at the description. Tiffany artisans transform utilitarian <laughs> items into handcrafted works of art. What the <laughs> crap? This is ridiculous. <laughs> if I'm going to pay $1,025 for a can, I want some beans in it. Well, yeah. Some really good beans. This is like something I just, you know, scooped my dog food out of last night. And yeah, tossed into that. It's four and a half inches. It's literally just a can. Yeah, look, it's instantly recognizable. Well, yeah, it is. <laughs> it should cost about 50 cents. Oh, it has a... Oh, I didn't notice this. Signature Tiffany Blue. I think they all have that. That's why you got to pay $1,025 for a tin can. Sterling silver... Wait, sterling silver tin can? Silver or tin, which is it, Tiffany and company? It's tin. They're just charging <laughs> a thousand bucks for it. So we're on to you, Tiffany. We see your ways and we don't like them. Yeah. I wouldn't even eat breakfast there. How much is breakfast at Tiffany's? I don't know. Is it a thousand dollars? And you don't get a sterling silver tin can. Golden eggs. Oh, you could eat out of the tin can. Oh, yeah. Your I'm sure they have some golden forks. Or something. I will tell you because here in a month or so, I'm going to New York City. And I may walk past the store. They're not going to let me in the building. We'll see if James gets thrown out of two <laughs> I don't think they're going to let me in. I'm just saying. You should just walk in and say, I want one of them tin cans. <laughs> Everybody's talking about down in Tennessee. <laughs> you heard about your famous tin cans. All right, that's enough nonsense, I think. Yeah, it's okay, okay. Sorry to everyone who was a Tiffany fan, but we had to point this out. Yeah, we have zero viewers that are Tiffany fans. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Absolutely. So. Awesome. Uh, stay tuned for the pick of the day. Don't forget to leave your comments, and they may even be using a future show if they are good enough. Yes. Email us. Comment to us. 
We want to use your viewer feedback Absolutely. in an upcoming episode of the Fishwax Show. If you like the show, share us on like Facebook and Twitter and stuff. Mm-hmm. I mean, tell your friends about it. Don't be too embarrassed by us. Yeah. Let them <laughs> in on the goodness, the wonderfulness that is the Fishwax Show. The wholesome. All right, guys. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Fishwax Show.